What's up, guys? <clears throat> it's Bass and Bros here today. Uh, here with Dylan, and uh, yeah, we're down here at the river fishing. Uh, we have you on a tripod today because I think it looks a little bit better than I was like holding it. So yeah, we're gonna be fishing for mainly smallmouth today. There's also uh, some trout down here. Um, yeah, definitely we're planning on doing some fly fishing. I'm gonna be getting Dylan in some waders, and we're gonna be taking them up the the river trying to get him to fly fish or so, just trout fish in general we're going to be fishing down here today and uh i'll let you know how it goes we're going to be trying some different baits i'm going to be going after the bigger smallmouth personally and i think uh dylan's gonna be a numbers guy today well so, yeah i'm i'm on the hunt for my personal best which i'm always on the hunt for my personal best but i'm, I'm gonna attempt to just see like what I can figure out, what, what colors they're biting on, and then base crankbaits, jerkbaits, stuff like that off of what they're gonna be biting on. And then we'll throw in the mix, jerkbait stuff, bigger baits to try to get the bigger fish to eat. Yep. But if you haven't already, please follow us on Instagram and uh, <coughs> drop us a sub. We really appreciate it, but we'll see you here in a second. I think like a chatterbait would actually do pretty good today. With how windy it is, a chatterbait, do you want one? Honestly, try it. Chatterbait might actually do pretty good down here, especially with how murky it is and how windy. I feel like that might actually, that might get a big smallie. This is, there's either gonna be two things that happen here, Dylan. Y'all know what it is? It's either going to get hung up or I'm going to catch a big fish. There's going to be no in between. That's what I'm about to use is a medium diving one so I can get to those deep pockets because that's where the big ones are at. I think I did, yeah. And just try some different colors. That's what we need to do for... Oh, God. See, this is what I'm talking about. Vegetation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why I don't like using stuff that drags the bottom. Like... <clears throat> like, I like I like when they get close to the bottom, but I don't, I don't like when they hit the bottom. They always scrape up mud and dirt and... So this is just how you find big smallmouth is you just crank something like that. Cause see there's rocks here. So this has to be hitting some or it's gonna hit one. One or the other. Sounds great. Oh like I got it all the way over there. Now we're just gonna crank it straight back in. If a fish wants a meal, it's gonna get it a good meal. That's where I had that big smallmouth catch or grab my jerk bait, threw it under that tree. Yeah. And oh, lost him. <laughs> seen his face too. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. See, that's what I'm saying. I really do feel like this color might get bit. Who knows? Hmm? If I throw this enough, he'll get bit once. God, what is up with all this crap? You already got that one. Was it a bite though? Yeah, I seen his, I seen his, I seen his face. Was that a good one? Nah, he's a little. See, that's all I'm saying. I want a good one. I'm just gonna throw this. Got, you got a lot of crankbaits. I'm gonna throw that. Oh, are you? Look in uh, the blue bag too. I just lose my crankbait. I think I did just lose my crankbait. No! Is it a good one? Is that a smallmouth? Yeah. 
call this little bitty guy literally little bitty <laughs> uh just called him on the ned rig uh the orange green pumpkin like usual um obviously nothing to flaunt but, but first catch so at least i'm not getting skunked today <laughs> now if we can just get sean to get a fish we'll be all right we've had bites they're just not fully committing to the bite or the bait right, so sounds. it's making it hard to land fish this little guy he what look at his mouth looks like he's been eating a small crawl or something no oh, i knew it crawfish natural color yeah that's what it looks like well now we know where did you catch him wait the hell in there i'm good because i've done like this so i was standing here like this and i took it and i did this went through it right there and before like before i even got like set to actually reel it because i was reeling in my slack i done like this and as soon as i looked up my line went shoo, like shot straight huh <clears throat> you're like i finally caught one <laughs> now if only Shaw can show dylan up by catching a monster this color it's like pretty much the same color you've been catching them on for the most part see it'll work i just gotta get a big enough fish to want it <laughs> you got one god dylan so caught this little guy just makes number two of the day um just a literally little guy <laughs> um pretty color pattern on him a pretty little small mouth caught him on the green pumpkin goby um finesse trd ned rig um we've tried just about everything can't get nothing to bite so we switched so i switched it up to the ned rig sean's still fishing crankbaits um but this makes number two almost had number three but he got off at the bank so i'm gonna toss him back see if we can catch some more I'm keeping this up. Huh? I'm keeping this up. If I catch me a good fish, I'll be happy. You know what we need? We need us a big one, Dylan. We need us a big one. All right, we need us a four pounder. That's a trout. That's a trout. Bring it right here. Hey, oh, yeah. Dylan. Hold this for a second. So I can wet my hands. Oh, that's so crazy that there's bird trout down here. All right. Caught this beautiful uh, brook trout. Um, caught him on the Ned rig, which is typically a smallmouth lure. But around here lately, we've been catching a lot of these guys on him. So I'm going to get a re release on him really quick so he can get back in the water. Huh. Yeah, let's get a release on him. <laughs> Look at him swimming all. He's just like, yeah, I'm going back. I thought, I thought, I thought that was going to be a much bigger smallmouth if that was a smallmouth. 3-0, Sean, what you going to do? Probably lose. Huh? Probably lose. <laughs> <laughs> Unless if I catch some monster. He was, bite, he was biting weird though. He was yeah. biting like a. Uh, he he took it almost like a catfish. He didn't he didn't he didn't do the typical trout bite. Yeah, honestly, they'll take it sometimes. They're pretty aggressive fish. I wish I can cast up that way and reel back in. You can you just gotta be careful with that lamb. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> you should go up there where you did last time on the other tree. Then you could. I could. Would I have enough room though? That's the question. Or maybe I'll just snag me a fish and it'll be a monster. This is going across the bottom. Pretty good. You got one? Is it Berkey? Yeah. <laughs> Catching trout. Bring him right here. I don't want to stick my hand in the water no more. Bring him right here. Bring him right here. Oh! Ooh, and he came off. 
Yeah, and its fins are white like the tigers. Look at his little pattern. Mm -hmm. Well, once again, snagged us a beautiful trout. It's definitely the better one. Caught one a little bit ago, but he was a, he was a little bit smaller than this guy. This guy is much, much prettier, much better. Let me get a picture of him real quick, and then we'll get a release on him. And also, you can see like the white fins right here. That's how you can tell that they're stopped. And you get the little white tips on his fins. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little pack. All right. So, pretty much, um, Sean hasn't caught anything <laughs> at this point. So, pretty much, um, we've tried everything. Texas rigs, jigs, crankbaits wackies ned rigs everything the only thing so far that we've managed to catch anything on at this point um is going to be the ned rig for me <laughs> um i had i had a couple bites on the wacky when we first got down here um it was a weighted wacky but that bite stopped pretty quick um and then i pretty much just switched to the ned rig and i've just been fishing that all day and you know it's it, i mean it's worked for me so far um, can't really complain the weather. I mean, I figured the weather would would play a big part in it just because last night it got it got pretty chilly last night um, So I mean the wet the water the water's definitely cold. Um, I caught this trout and Obviously you got to get your hand wet to handle trout so you don't hurt them or hurt their skins and scales. So I dipped my hand in the water and it's extremely cold um, So I'm surprised that the jerk bait didn't get anything or any of the swim baits but i mean i've been using the ned rig and the wacky for the majority of the day and i've caught quite a bit um but i mean especially with it being clear skies um a little bit of clouds <laughs> not bad and then definitely some pretty good winds um, i think it was like gusts of like up to 10 today so it's not been too bad um definitely been a definitely been an adventurous day me and Sean's definitely had a good time but I guess I'm gonna get back out here put on the fix up my net rig um, I actually just broke off so I'm gonna have to tie on another hook put on another worm um, the big key for the day is it was the green pumpkin goby on a 10th ounce jig head by Z-Man um, it's a great bait great lure um, me and Sean love it obviously that's what we fish in the majority of the videos that you guys have seen at least until summer starts coming around a little better but I'm gonna get tied back up and get back to fishing and we will see if we can catch something from here good pattern or can you see it yeah. <clears throat> it's probably the prettiest one I've caught so far um, caught him on the same thing. This makes five fish for me, zero for Sean. Mm -hmm. Um, gonna attempt to get the hook out. Um, and we'll send this guy on his way. Well, guys, as you can see, uh, I shouldn't even really be in the video, honestly. <laughs> Dylan caught a good majority of the fish today. Good majority. I caught them all. <laughs> You know, you can at least say, oh yeah, Sean had this one good bite. No, can't, can't say anything. Today was a disaster for Sean. I think Sean broke off more times than fish I caught. <laughs> Probably. But yeah, we're going to end it here. If you guys do want to see uh, some content, let us know down below specifically what you want to see by us. And uh, we'll try our best to do it. If you got any ideas for like, challenges or anything like that. Let us know down below. But anyways, guys, follow us on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, if Dylan will quit making so much background noise. <laughs> Sorry, Dylan's in a good mood. He, he, had a, he had a successful fishing day. And also, leave in the comments if you, if you want to see us come back down here with some, like, spinners, stuff like that, and target specifically trout down here. I know there's a lot down here, as we, me and Sean have both seen them jump back behind us over here in the river. Um, we've seen them pop up all throughout the river feeding on top waters and everything so leave a comment if you guys want to see us come out here and fish for trout yep. and trout only sean no ned rigs 
<laughs> well, no, well, take your own advice, Dylan. No med rigs today. Well, if we came down here just for trout, then I'd only use trout. Okay. Well, look at it. Just saying. But anyways, guys, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to drop a sub and uh, see you next time. See ya.